Test, 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 test. Let's just test if this is working. If we can see the screen, if I can hear myself, if it's like actually going to work this time. Good morning. It's Sunday in London. Um, well, it's Sunday afternoon, actually. It's it's after lunchtime, but it's a very lazy day. And I just thought I would do a video from my desktop and just going through Filmic Pro and uh, Filmic Pro settings. What I've worked out so far, um, by no means am I an expert at this app. Um, I'm still trying to work out what the best the best settings are and the best way to use the app. Um, the reason why I'm starting to use it is it because it does uh, it does work with the Osmo Mobile, which you may have seen my video here, or is it here? Um, and it does allow the buttons on the Osmo to control some of the functions on the Filmic Pro app. Now, the reason for using the Filmic Pro app instead of using the DJI Go app is online through many, many forums, especially on DJI's forum, is the thing about the stuttering with the footage on the Osmo. Now, a lot of people are saying it's due to the stabilization of the Osmo, uh, sta sorry, the stabilization of the iPhone, um, not being able to be completely turned off, and therefore it's giving some stuttering effect in the footage. Now, there was one video which I linked to in my Osmo Mobile video, which I'll link again here. Um, I don't think that's the reason. I don't think it's anything to do with the iPhone. I think it's to do with the DJI Go app, and the app is the app is really just not great at 4K. If you change it to HD 1080, you will not get that stuttering. You won't get it as much. Of course, any of these gimbals. I mean, I have the Figure Tech one for the GoPro. Any of these gimbals, you will need to you know, walk slowly and, and, and still walk in a certain way so you don't get the up and down effect. You're still going to get some kind of up and down effect. You know, it's, it's not an expensive gimbal here. You're not spending thousands and thousands of dollars. But for what it is, it does a good job. Um, anyway, so that's why I'm using the Filmic Pro app so I can record in 4K and it will process the 4K better than the Osmo Mobile. Alternatively, I could just use the um, iPhone camera app which would work as well. I haven't tested it enough, so I'm just, I'm, this is just my thoughts at the moment. Anyway, with Filmic Pro, you're gonna see my keyboard in the background, because the camera's on. On the top, you've just got the basic settings here. So you have the arrow, which you touch, you have audio level gain, you have the grid on or off, you have stabilization on or off, you have the information which will go to the user manual. You have the front camera and switch back to the rear camera. You have a torch, which I won't turn on. And you have the, the zoom, which I wouldn't use. At the bottom, you have your focus lock and uh, focus lock. I'll go through those in a second. And then you have at the bottom here, 25 frames per second, 720p, which I'll change. Time code, battery, not sure what the pie chart is, I'll check. And then you have settings, uh, film roll, and record. Now, if you go into settings, settings is actually really easy. You know, this part of the settings is easy. I mean, I find the focus and the exposure lock harder to sort of get a grip on. Um, you have resolution. So resolution, you have your 16.9, so I'll leave it on 16.9. You just touch it. If you wanted to change it, you can change it just by tapping. Um, HD goes down to SD 540, which you wouldn't use. So we're going to go up to, we go to 3K, we'll go to 4K, and we'll do it at 100. Frame rate, I'll leave it 25 frames a second. I mean, you can change it, you know, depending on the phone, you can change it to whatever is possible. If you have 120 frames a second slow mo, you can change it up to 120. Audio is your gain and your location of your microphone. This is saying iPhone microphone back. That's because I don't have the micro me, uh, the ride, the Rode micro me microphone plugged in. But if I plug that in, which I can do now, I'll just plug it in. I'll show you. So this is the, and it's called my zipper because I probably shouldn't have put it in 
the bag with a zipper. So this is the microphone that I use on my iPhone. If I plug that in there, and I go back to settings, and I go to audio, you will see that it has a headset microphone. So that's what it changes it to. So you pick headset microphone, which will then record through the Rode microphone, which will give a slightly better sound. If I take that out, it will disappear from the menu and it'll just play iPhone microphone back. Okay, so just a little interlude here. Um, I've had a little bit of a technical problem, which I've just, because I've been reviewing this vlog as I go along, um, only because I'm using ScreenFlow, which is a new app, and I've never used it before, and I purchased it the other day. And it records the screen. Most people might know about it already. It records the screen, and it records what's on my iPhone screen, so I can talk to you and show you at the same time. Now, the lightning jack on my phone is problematic. So when I showed you the microphone, the lightning jack loosened slightly, so everything I recorded on the phone, showing you the Filmic Pro, didn't record. Okay, so I'm going to try again. This is actually... This is what happens when you have problems with gear. This is the third take I've tried to do of this because it's not recording the iPhone screen on ScreenFlow. My lightning cable seems to be probably very, very problematic. So I'll start again. Well, not start again, but I'll start from audio. Um, okay, so audio I showed you just before. Now we go into device. With device, you can, you have many options in here. You have save to camera roll, stitch recorded footage, snap focus enabled, orientation lock, preview active, tap to hide interface. I don't know what all these others mean really. To be honest, I haven't looked into them. Save to camera roll is very important for me. I always save to the camera roll, not to Filmic Pro Library. Uh, preview active, I think that's, I'm not sure what that is. It's obviously a preview function. Presets is where you can store all your settings. So this is very, very helpful, especially if you're using, you know, you're doing slow-mo or you're using a Osmo Mobile. Um, you can set a setting for the front camera. You can set a setting for the rear camera. You can set 4K setting, it's a 1080 setting. It's actually really helpful. So I've, I've set a few in here just to start with. Um, the DJI 4K one. So if you want to load it, you just go load. Then it says load preset. I go load. And then it's loaded. So that's now 4K setting. And it says preset active. DJI 4K preset active. Hardware. This is where you turn on the DJI Osmo Mobile so that the buttons on the mobile, Osmo Mobile will, will work with the Filmic Pro app. There's other hardware there too for, I mean, the main bar, main one being the Moondog adapter. Um, community is just all their social media sites. Um, so that's pretty much for that. Um, this is the Filmic Library. So you can go in here and see what, if you've saved it to Filmic Library. I mean, here's one that I filmed in Sydney in 4K a little while ago of this waffle van. But you can see the footage is actually very good. This is straight from the 6S Plus, Filmic, filmed in the Filmic Pro at 25 frames a second and then you just pause, so it's there. And if you want to transfer it, you literally just, um... hmm. this is why, ah, see, if you want to transfer it, you just, it's the arrow up button on the, on the rectangle, and then you can save it to wherever you want to save it to. Um, and the app just crashed, as you just saw. So let's open the app again. That does actually happen with Filmic Pro. It does actually crash. I tend to find it when it's when you're in the filmic library, which is the reason why I tend not to use it. Um, so the two, the circle and the square, is your focus. Wow, it's really dark all of a sudden. What is going on there? That's because it's in 4K. Let me just change that so you can see. Why is that gone so 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 dark? Oh, Filmic Pro quality. See, that's changed again. I would leave that at 100. That's because it's in my setting. I have to change. I have to fix up my presets, actually. Let's just go 1080. Load. I think it must be another setting that I have. That's why it's so dark. Anyway. Um, so this is your focus. Let me just go in here. It's white balance. Let's focus pull. ISO, it's because the ISO is too low. Unlock it. So basically, I'm still trying to work out these these focus focus reticle and the and the exposure reticle and stuff like that. 
but this is your focus. This is where you change your focus point. This is your exposure. So you set your focus point first, and then you set change your exposure. Focus point, sorry, focus point you lock with red, and then exposure you lock in there. Um, that's your white balance. You want to lock the white balance, you can just lock it in. If you want to go to hold that down to bring up the sub menu, see it's at ISO 66. I think the ISO is a bit low. Even though maybe the native is 60, I think it's a bit low. Um, exposure compensation plus or minus. Yeah. So you can change that as well. Um, red is lock. Now, what was I trying to find? As you can see, as I said before, I'm not an expert at this. Ah, shutter. So it's at 125. We want 150, and that's now locked in. So that's that's a very quick run through of of focusing and exposure lock. This is the bit that I'm still trying to work out, and what the best best way to move forward is with with the iPhone. Um, as an app itself, I think it's a really good app. Like I said, save your save your save your footage to the photo library, not the Filmic Pro library. Um. And, I mean, basically, like I said, the reason why I got it is to work with the Osmo Mobile, um, why I'm starting to use it. I mean, I've had the app for a long time, I just haven't used it. And I think a lot of people are in the same thing, same boat, because you go to the setting, you go to the screen, and you think, what is going on? It, it's not that complicated, the main part of the settings. It's just getting the focus lock and the exposure lock and the white balance correct. Once you got that nailed down, I think it's quite good. I mean, there's many, many examples on YouTube of people who have done on Vimeo actually, who have done really, really good uh, short films with uh, with Filmic Pro. Um, anyway, so that's about it. Not a comprehensive review, just a little chat this morning. It's actually Saturday too. I know at the beginning of the vlog I said it was Sunday. Um, a bit tired today, so please forgive me for that <laughs> that error. Um, but anyway, just 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 a quick overview, show you my settings, see just so you know where I'm at with the Filmic Pro. Please, please let me know in the comments below um, what your experiences with Filmic Pro and Osmo Mobile. I'm going to do another Osmo Mobile video. This is my original one. Somewhere here, I'll try and link it here or here maybe. Um, I'm going to do a new Osmo Mobile using the Filmic Pro and using the iPhone 7. So hopefully that will, um, hopefully I'll get that done by next week. Um, but yeah, apart from that, enjoy your Saturday or Sunday, wherever, whatever time you're watching this, and we will speak soon.